Today, I'm very excited to be speaking with Stellar Cyber to learn about their application and their journey to Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Let's get started. Sure. Albert, it's, uh, it's really exciting for me to be talking to you today and learning um, a bit more about Stellar Cyber as well as your journey to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Stellar Cyber's mission is to bring highly intelligent, nearly autonomous SOC to a power by OpenXDR to everyone. And uh, compared with the traditional legacy scene, which is more passive to get data sitting there, XDR extended detection response, we focus on actively leverage the data to do detection and the response to the threat. Next, can you tell me a little bit about the, the data flow of your, of your application? How does the application actually work? Sure, so from the data flow perspective, right? because we want to bring the holistic coverage, so we have the list of different sensor tools, like from the network sensor, security sensor, capture network traffic, and also doing the IDS and malware sandbox to the, the, the server sensor, Kubernetes sensor, get OS telemetry. And also uh, we have the log forwarder to be able to ingest logs and also different connectors to different cloud or SaaS apps to grab their API data, especially auditing data, so we know what's going on. And also we have our own API be able to respond to the different uh, SaaS app or cloud or, or on-prem like a firewall to block something and also the endpoint to, to quarantine host and kind of this type of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what about the internals of the uh, of the application? You know, you have the different inputs. From the internal perspective, we get those input, and then we go through a streaming pipeline with Kafka and Flink, and then to put into a data lake based on open search. And then from there, the customer can do threat hunting, and also we have a machine learning pipeline to do detection as well as correlation so that we can get those instant let the customer to investigate. Once they, they investigate, then we can have a, a response pipeline to see uh, how do we want to make the treatment. So tell me a little bit more about how the Stellar Cyber application maps into OCI. What, what services did you use? So from the service perspective, right, we have a lot of like a sensor collect data as input, and then we first go through WAF, right, to mitigate some like attack surface. And then we have internal gateway and pass into our internal. Our internal, because even on-prem, we're mostly running Kubernetes as a service, so microservice-oriented architecture. So it's relatively easy we can map to the OKE-based manager Kubernetes and enjoy less management from our side. And then from there, we have different node pools and inside our like OKE cluster, right? So then we have the stream part from like Kafka and Flink to the more like uh, the data lake based on open search to uh, the machine learning based pipeline, be able to detection and the correlation and finally response. And then from this, we also maintain a lot of credentials from customer. Are you guys using the application load balancer or the, the network load balancer? We use both. Both, okay. Right. So then once we have the load balancer, and then we can distribute it into our different clusters inside the OCI. So then that is linked with block storage from the OCI offer, right? To build an online database, people can query for the hot data. And then the same data, we also leverage the Oracle's object storage to put the long-term data there because for a lot of security needs, they might need a 30-day or 60-day hot data okay. to do on-demand query, but they might have the auditing requirement of one Got year it. data and so on. Then they need long-term storage. We use object storage. And so the hot the hot data is in block storage, and yes. then the the colder data it sounds like is in object storage. And yes. are, are you using any of the tiers in object storage, like you know infrequent access or archive, or do you just use a single tier? We plan to use multi tier, but we start with single tier. Single tier. And also we enjoy the object storage, which have very high durability. Mm -hmm. So then we can host long term data cheaply. And then with that, we also have another like our own pipeline based on microservice to take the data to do machine learning and create an alert and a correlation and put it back. And right now we also enjoy that with the, the Kubernetes service inside the Oracle. So you're running all of this inside of Kubernetes, your, your stateful yes. components and your stateless components as well. All of that is running inside of Kubernetes. Right, right. Okay. So we pretty much at a very early on made the, the design decision, everything with Kubernetes. Yeah. 
Then we enjoy the Oracle email delivery and other services. So that make our life simpler. Got it. Right. And also from the DevOps perspective, we also leverage on the Oracle DevOps pipeline and also the, the container registry. And as well as, as notification and some like a monitoring service to make sure the, the people can monitor the cluster to have very high availability. So you mentioned that the first goal was really to get um, you know, the Stellar Cyber application uh, running inside of OCI, and next is to, is to optimize. Maybe you can tell me about some of the different optimizations you might be thinking about, maybe some of the different OCI services that you may be looking at for the future. Once we move to OCI, especially we have quite a bit like an external API for customer to enjoy, mm -hmm. right? So those things come and go stateless. Then for us, we feel if we can leverage on Oracle functions, then it's relatively easy. We don't need to worry about uh, like up and down to do the auto scaling. Like even though for our node pool, we do auto scaling, but still uh, that's more like pre-allocate some resource, right? Like I need to do provisioning. But, but uh, probably for API gateway plus function, we think for a lot of our, like our API level service probably is a good match. And then we already enjoyed the homegrown like streaming service mm -hmm. from Kafka plus Flink, right? Because OCA also have the managed like stream service. Uh -huh. So then we also consider how to leverage on that to further let us more focus on workload install management, right? So that is, is definitely something we in mind. Another thing is I mentioned the one of the part of the reason we choose OCI is because Oracle have a lot of data experience. Right now, the Oracle also have the new Oracle Autonomous database, uh -huh. right? So that is something we look into. We, we haven't really used it that yet, but it's definitely something we, like uh, on our radar. Albert, thank you very much for sitting down with me today. Um, it was really great to learn all about uh, the great capabilities of Stellar Cyber and how you guys are leveraging Oracle Cloud infrastructure both today and in the future. Thank you again. Yes, yeah, thank you for the invitation. It's my pleasure to be here. Hey, did you like what you learned? Make sure to check out this video or this link, and of course, subscribe now.